Hello, viewers. Welcome to Skyborn. Skyborn is an RPG about, you know, I don't quite know yet. Presumably about Skyborn. We are, we're playing as Claret. Ah, another day in paradise, Kagi. So what if the sun can't break through the smog? It gives our shop some atmosphere. Sunshine's overrated anyway. Talk about looking on the bright side. <laughs> ah, mouse. Yeah, I just rewired that. Uh, I wonder if I can trade you in for a cat, Kagi. No, don't do that. Don't say that. That's rude. It's just a robot. Everything okay in here, Claret? Nothing I can't handle, just a little pest problem. Okay, we've got an important client coming in, so you might want to clean things up. Do you see a mess in here? I keep my workspace clean, unlike some people I know. I wasn't talking about your workspace. Your clothes are covered in engine grease. I'm not paid to look clean! Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Anyway, we need that thing up and running by tomorrow, so get to it. Ha! <laughs> what client cares if their mechanic is clean? That's a good question. Now, where did I leave my rivet gun? Right over there, to the left, by the front desk. Now, I haven't decided if I want to control this game with the controller or the mouse. Oh my. Yikes! Well, well. Looks like we might have a renegade half-breed on the loose. Ooh. Let me go. I'm not a half-breed. I've been through processing already, so lay off. He doesn't have any wings, sir. Some havies, havesies are late bloomers. <laughs> Excuse me. Besides, there's more than one way to prove he's not human. Ow. What's going on here? We've got a report of a free half-breed in this part of town. You know the law. You're harassing my employee in my shop. Whoa, take it easy, lady. I think you should leave. Back off, ma'am. Let's not make this official. Uh, uh oh, I think that's a rivet gun. Get out, get out, get out. Get out! Typical dirt stomper. You're lucky you've got the client you do, else you and I would have words. Aren't we having words? Keep your nose clean, human. I clean it every day. Every other day. At least once a week. Corwin, are you okay? I'm fine. Thanks, Claret. Huh. What makes them think they can treat people that way? Probably something about their wings, their magic, and the fact that they won the war. Uh, don't be all sobby. I'm sorry. I don't know why the Scor Skyborn prefects are coming in here. They've never taken notice of us before. It's okay. Some of them came in the other day. Same routine. It's nothing new. They beat you up daily? Have you told Jake? Really, it's not a big deal. Please don't concern him with it. I'll clean up around here so you can get back to work. Hmm. Hey, all the cogs are cleaned up. What a mess, Coggy. Ah, well, I need to fix this airship anyhow. And whoever flies it must be the world's worst pilot. The navigation core is completely shot. We're all out, but I should be able to pick up a new one in the city. Oh, I'll be fine. Besides, if I run into trouble, I do know how to use a rivet gun after all. Just need to grab those before I head out. Need to grab the rivet guns? Well, what the heck in the world was I shooting a second ago? <coughs> That's the wrong button. That's also the wrong button. <laughs> That's still the wrong button. There we go. Open the menu and equip the rivet guns. Access the menu by pressing escape, X, or right click, or use the menu bar on the bottom of the screen to equip. All right, let's use the mouse. Gonna go to equip 
Oh yeah, this is a lot easier. Bam. Glorified hairband goggles. Common tunic, commoner's gloves. Why isn't it not commoner's tunic? We must have order here. I love the icons. All right, and we're gonna right click to escape. I'm trying not to cough here too. <laughs> uh, I have a slight cough. So if I cough, that's why, but I'm sorry if I do. Okay. Claret is now level two, cause you found a shiny thing on the ground. Right? Why? Why am I level two? This is an exploration node. Walk into these in order to gain experience points towards leveling up. There are dozens of these all over the world. Some are easy to find, some are more hidden. Reward yourself with exploration. <laughs> wow, thanks. Thanks, Ruben. What's this say? Directions. Look around. My airship dock. Very good. That's not. Wait a minute, hold on. Hold on. A mining pick! Allows you to extract ores from the world. Nice, okay. So, at some point, we're going to be able to mine. I see a blinking door on my screen. Let's talk to this lady. Little Claret Spencer came out of a cave. What brings you to town? Surely it must be all about work, work, work. You betcha. Just picking up a few things for a ship in a very sad shape. Yeah, let's go pick up those things. Especially since it looks like my path is blocked anyway. <laughs> this is all a facade, it's all just for show. Yeah, well. Hello, Mr. Guy. Long time no speak, Harold. I need a navigation core for an Osprey MK2 yacht. Please tell me you guys have one sitting around. Osprey Navcore, yep, got one right here. Harold Blackstone. Blackstone is such a cool last name. Don't sell these much. They run about 40 bits. But I'll let one go for 30 for Spencer's lovely girl. Hey there, man, don't get no ideas. Thanks! Oh, Claret, come on, don't give him no ideas. Who says good looks don't get you anywhere? Oh, come on. For the love of Mike, whoever Mike is. Bye! Purchase this and bring it back to the airship. Okay. I did it. Let's buy a second one. <laughs> you can't. You don't got enough money. Why don't you sell it to me for 25? I would have bought two. What is this jerk doing standing here? He wasn't here before. Ah, ow! Whoops. Who dares to... Oh, great. It's that crazy mechanic again. Oh, great. The pompous Skyborn again. I've had just about of your lip. Human. I read that wrong. Time to teach you some manners. Oh no! You'll be sorry you mess with Claret Spencer. Why are you fighting me? Ha! You think I'm afraid of a rivet gun? You've obviously never faced a Skybone warrior. You've obviously never faced a rivet gun. You should be able to run through this battle fairly quick. I do have the difficulty on this game set to easy. And that is for a very simple reason that I would actually like to be able to get through the battles fairly quickly. I want the focus of this playthrough to be on story. And I may even go as far as skipping future battles for at least non-story related ones. Ow! Don't hit me, you dirty jerk. I'm going to shoot you in the face with a rivet gun. I think this battle actually ends when I get below a certain hit point level. Yes. Come on, you two. I'll not have brawling in the streets. Leave the human to its work. Surely we have more important things to do. Eh, as you wish, sir. Human, I'm keeping my eye on you. That's disgusting. Keep your eye on your face. <laughs> yeah, you better fly away. All right, time to finish this airship job. Yeah, that's right, Claret. You 
show them with excitement. I just wanted to walk on the path. Do, do, do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's hard to go in a straight line with this controller. Oh, excuse me. Well, I'm happy to see you too, Kagi. Time to finish this repair job. All right, let's 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 just go straight to work. The detail on this game so far is amazing. Claret, I'd like to introduce you to Sullivan Chesterford. Or Chesterford. Or Chess Tarford. Chesterford, this is my younger sister, Claret. Younger sister? Do you have two sisters? She's our main mechanic here at Spencer Dry Dock and Repair. What's she going to say? Hello there, uh, miss. Say something nice. Hi. <laughs> All right. Since when do I have to deal with clients? Eh, <laughs> well, Mr. Chesterford wanted to see how the repairs are coming along on his airship. His airship? Oh! So you're the owner. Yes, it's been making an odd clanking sound lately. I assume you'll be able to repair it? Ha! The clanking was just one of your problems. The timing belt slipped, causing the engine to misfire, but I also found a bent propeller, worn out struts, loose lug nuts, and a giant gouge in the hull. This poor girl's been through the ringer. Your pilot should be fired. <laughs> Surely I'm not that bad. I've taken at least a month's worth of the best flight courses money can buy. You did this? Y yeah. Claret, important client. Mr. Fancy Pants here is abusing his ship. This model isn't even a year old, and look at the condition it's in. Anyway, Mr. Chesterford, let's go discuss that business contract. Right now. You don't deserve an airship! <laughs> uh, that does look pretty beat up. And that's why Jake won't let you run the front desk. I can't stand it when people don't take care of their machines. Besides, that guy was such a tool, I could have fixed the airship using him. <laughs> well, I hope he's not too offended. The Chesterfords are in the wealthiest circles. They're even accepted into Skyborn society. We could really use their business. Oh, don't worry. When he sees how smoothly his ship runs after I'm through with her, he'll be back. Uh, assuming he doesn't crash a ship into the Celestial Palace or something. <sighs> do, 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 do. Fixing the ship. Yeah, yeah. Fixing the ship. Mm hmm. Ship is fixed. Yeah, yeah. Phew! Just about ready. Yeah, that's right, Coggy. You tell him, or her, or him, or. Thanks again. Your ship should be ready tomorrow afternoon. A pleasure, Mr. Spencer. I'm glad we were able to reach an agreement. And I look forward to a fresh slew of insults on the morrow from your oh-so-charming sister. Farewell. Ah, <sighs> Claret, don't you think that just this once, you could have tried to make a good impression? Sorry, Jake. That guy just got on my nerves. Yeah, um, Claret, there's something I need to talk to you about. What now? I don't think you're gonna like it much. Okay. In fact, I probably should have talked to you a little sooner. Just tell me already, you're freaking me out. I'm selling the shop to Sullivan Chesterford. Dot, 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 dot. Is that an earthquake? <laughs> or... <laughs> what? <laughs> or is that Claret? That's clear. That was completely Claret. Look, I know you like to focus on your work, but look around you. Big things are happening in the city, and I can't sit here fixing widgets forever just to, just watching the world change. I have to go be a part of it. But you can't sell the shop. I've already made the deal, and the contract is signed. Sorry, Claret. Gosh, man, you should have discussed it with your sister who works and probably owns half the thing. Don't you think? How could you? This is our home. 
Look at all we've accomplished here, especially after mom and dad walked out on us. Can't blame them. They probably didn't want to be stuck here either. How can you say that? Are you going to leave me too? Now, hold on a second. I've made sure you'll be taken care of. Trust your big brother. What? I don't trust him. 15,000. I've never seen so much money. Mr. Chesterford and I spent hours working out the deal. In addition to you getting your half of a very generous sum of money from the shop sale, there's a way you can keep working here and run the place. Really? How? Simple. You become Miss Chesterford. That's not simple. <laughs> no, she's saying no, no, nope, nope. You have got to be kidding. Nope. We talked about it. It took some haggling, but he's already agreed. You sold me as a part of the shop? Whoa, whoa, no. I meant I had to haggle to get him to take you. Wow. Ah! What a jerk. Oh, man, you done made her mad. Yeah, come on, Coggy. Go make her feel better. Wow. No, Coggy. Leave her alone. Homeless, unemployed, humiliated. My brother is an idiot. <laughs> How could he do this to me? And what made him think I'd marry that Chesterford guy? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, Kagi understands. Guess there's only one thing to do. Come on, Kagi. I've got a plan. What was that, a Pokemon noise? The airship's still in the work bay, and it's flight ready. Let's go. Flight ready? Why would it need to be flight ready? What are you thinking? What are you thinking, Claret? Corwin, uh, I was just getting a drink of water. Really? Jake told me the news. Oh. I'll pretend I didn't see you. Y you will? Every person should be free to make their own choices. Yeah, and their own mistakes, right? Thanks, Corwin. Oh, one more thing. Could you give this to Jake when you see him? Goodness, isn't this your share of the sale money? He's gonna need it. Take care, Corwin. I hope Corwin's gonna be okay. He's gonna keep working there. For Chesterford? Chest Chestford? Mr. Hemley? Oh, this is almost too easy. Jake is going to be furious. I'm gonna move this mouse over here. I don't know. Starting. Engines go. I'm gonna say engine starting, but kinda. Alright, now where's this dude? he doing good looks like everything's here what the oh, that sounds like an airship noise zounds <laughs> what what do you mean zounds this isn't scooby-doo come on now doo, doo, doo. oh thought okay yeah they're playing both the scenes and kind of different order so you can tell they're connected. That's very that's very artistic. I like that. Thud? No. There should be no thud. I triple checked the engine earlier. You! What are you doing here? The shop closed hours ago. It's my ship. What are you doing flying it? Um. Mm-hmm. Gagi knows. I was just... I was only... Look, Jake told me about your little contract. I've decided it's unacceptable. I'm taking the ship as compensation. Thief! How dare you? We have a signed agreement. Uh-oh. Someone set us up the bomb. Ah! Stormrook Sky Patrol drones. I ran straight into them. Ha! Huh. Now who's the bad pilot? Your fault for distracting me. Blast. How am I going to explain this to Jake and the city guard? Hmm. Surely we can resolve this in a civilized manner. 
Oh, now you want to talk about it? A little late. The drones are closing in. Bother. Let's fight them off. Fight them? I thought you... Come now. You don't want to be arrested for theft and kidnapping, do you? No, but... Ugh, I guess I have no choice. Kaki, take the will. Is that a good idea? Oh, I guess we're going to find out. Here they come. Ah, it's Skybots. Let me take the brunt of their attacks. Make sure my threat is higher than yours, Claret. They'll always attack whoever has the highest threat. What do you mean threat? Why can't we just blast those out of the sky? You draw attention to yourself by dealing damage. If your threat gets too high, hang back and defend while I try to draw threat away from you. Just be careful and don't get yourself killed. All right, so I'm gonna defend it first. We're gonna attack with this dude. Sucker. Went for 36. Doing some move called Exposed Weakness. No idea what that is. His threat's 77. So if I attack with her and kill him, my threat does what? Yikes, 52. Okay. But he was able to attack. I guess I better guard with her again. Swing! Alright, we should be good to both attack. Ah, sucker. One hit kill. Claret, level up. Expose weakness. And a bunch of stats went up. And I don't really know what role they have in anything, so it's great that they went up. But <laughs> HP up and expose weakness, those are probably the most important for us. Because the rest are just going to do what they're going to do. I say, Claret, you're a dab hand with those river guns. Uh, thanks. Why are you helping me all of a sudden? It never helps to antagonize your kidnapper and all that. I haven't kidnapped anybody. That's wonderful news. You'll return my ship and my person to the dock then. No way am I going back. I'll have to dump you somewhere else. Oh, are you my new chauffeur? Chauffeur? <laughs> Why do I say that word wrong? We ought to discuss your wages. Ah, look here, Sullyford. We both want you off this boat. Fine. I'll let you off wherever you want, but I'm keeping the ship. I even left a bunch of money with Jake to pay for it. Hmm, well, if that's the case, let's make this legal, shall we? Fly me to Uptown, and we'll go to the airship registry office and record the sale. You do that? Why not? I can always buy another. Well, I guess you can, huh? Sounds like a deal! This seems like it's going to go horribly wrong. Uptown Airship Docks. Huh. Surely you've been to Uptown before. I came up here once with Jake and Corwin when we needed some parts for a job, but I didn't see much. Oh, fear not. I am a directional genius. Just head into town and the registry office will be all the way to the west, right next to the town square. Quest Journal updated. All right, this is a great stopping point. I hope you're enjoying the story so far. Uh, this is actually the second time I've had to play through to this point, but everything beyond this is new. I just had some difficulty getting my recording software to behave the way it should. This is also one of the first videos I'm recording in 60 frames per second. So if you are on Google Chrome, you can take advantage of that. But as I said, that'll be it for this episode. So I do hope to see you next time. But until then, this has been B-Ran. Have a great day. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.